What's up everyone? Casey and Eddie here with First Ten Tattoo Equipment. Today we want to come to you and have a big debate talking about concealed carry versus open carry. Uh, in our opinions, we're going to give you why concealed carry is the best option, safest option to go with versus open carry. Eddie, without further ado, brother. Yeah, let's open crack these. this can of worms, right? I'm going to crack it up like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> There are pros and cons to both ways of carrying. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, when it comes to open carrying specifically, there are way more cons than there are concealed carrying. A um, mm. couple of things that people always point to why, for the reason why they don't like to conceal carry. Um, one, they say the comfort they like to wear outside the waistband on belts and things like that because concealed carrying is not as comfortable. You buy one of our holsters, you won't have that problem. Um, but outside of that, they say, well, I'm faster on the draw. And to me, that kind of plays into a fantasy that people have about self-defense situations. You know, they naturally assume that there's going to be a time where they're going to have to drop on somebody and they're going to need to get on target faster than they are, uh, when in reality, it, it almost never pans out that way. What happens a lot of times is people that are carrying open carry, whether you're carrying Kydex, whether you're carrying in leather, whether you're carrying in a, a god awful Uncle Mike's holster, um, they they get their their gun snatched because it's right there and available for them. Uh, you notice cops when they when they're in uniform, they're wearing the holsters. Those aren't exactly normal holsters. Um, I don't want to get too much into the way that they operate. But most of those holsters are level two or level three. And even, which, with, and even with that, we're still <clears throat> protecting it. Exactly. Because we know somebody can probably snatch it out if they know what they're doing. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, just being honest, a level three holster is damn near a combination lock to get your gun out. But if you ever see two cops sitting there talking to each other, you'll notice that their shoulders are down, their elbows are down, and they're actually covering their gun and protecting it so just in case somebody comes behind them and tries to snatch it. And you see two cops standing together talking, you'll constantly see them where they're standing kind of catty corner to each other, diagonal to each other, so that they could see past each other and watch for threats coming up behind them. And even in, in society, of a, a, when you go to Walmart, when you walk in somewhere and you see somebody open carrying, the first thing you notice is a gun. You don't notice what the person looks like, what the hair looks like, what are they wearing. Your, your eyes automatically focus on, boom, mm -hmm. hey, my man's got a gun on his hip. So that's, that's me. First thing I see, I don't, know, I don't know what he looks like. I know he's got a gun on his hip. I can probably tell you what kind of gun he's got before I can tell you what he looks like. Mm -hmm. um, even with me in uniform, when I walk somewhere, people don't look at my face. They don't look at my eyes. As soon as I walk through, the person always goes, always looks down right at the gun. It's mm -hmm. just a human nature thing. It's not normal for us to have something off our hips. Especially a big gun. I mean, mm. that's not normal. So people notice. That's the, usually the first thing people notice. Yeah. You know. So good, good bad, or indifferent. If you wear a, a, a firearm where people can see it, you're going to stand out, and you're going to draw attention to yourself. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if I'm a bad guy, you're probably going to be my first target because mm -hmm. you have a gun, and then I'll take that gun and use it. If mm -hmm. I was a bad guy. Bad. There's a lot of bad people in this world to do these things. Now, so. what I hear all the time is, you know, when I say this to people and they get upset because they like to open carry, they'll usually puff their chest out at me and say, well, I don't let people get that close to me. Yeah. I'm like, really? Yeah, bull. Never in. So you're walking around Walmart and you're never in a situation where both of your hands are occupied and you're vulnerable to somebody snatching your gun. I'll give you an example. I was in Walmart. Uh, a time. little while back, and there was a fairly big guy. He was probably 6'4", 6'5", 250 plus pounds. Burly dude. How tall are you? I don't think that matters. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Because I could have easily got his gun. You see, this guy was walking around with his wife or a significant other, and he was carrying both his children in his arms, two you know, young kids under the age of three. Uh, he had a, a very nice, shiny uh, 1911 in a very nice, shiny Kydex holster outside the waistband. Um, I could have gone up to him with my index finger and my thumb 
snatched it out from his holster. Very shiny. And the only thing he would have been able to do is turn around and beg me not to shoot him and his kids. That's the reality. If I meant to do harm to him or I just wanted a new gun and I was a bad guy, I would have had one. And I think we see, we also see these videos online where people are just standing around in a convenience store, oblivious to what's behind them. Mm -hmm. The person that just walked in and they're just like, let me get, let me get some, uh, let me get some Marlboros. Mm -hmm. Let me get some, uh, some, some juju beans over there. And the next, you know, guy snatches his holster and then you turn around, they're like, uh, I don't know what to do now. And then the person runs off with a gun. Yep. There's plenty of videos out there on the internet. You can find them. It, ha it, it honestly happens just happens that quick it happens that quick we like i said we have special holsters that you have to do a series of controls to actually remove a gun from the holster and there are people that are criminals that actually train they'll buy that same holster that we carry to learn how to defeat it properly so that they could come up behind law enforcement officers and take their guns it's a thing that we have to deal with is a thing that we get trained against imagine if you have you know a kydex holster or a simple leather holster or god forbid a horrible uncle mike's holster you know leave my uncle mike out of this man what uh, you ever do yeah, uncle mike needs to make better holsters is all i'm saying man he needs to stop making holsters when he's drunk is all i'm saying <laughs> that's it but i'm just saying it's that easy to take the firearm you stand out and you know, if you have this fantasy about being quick draw McGraw, you're going to need it if an active shooter does ever come into a place that you're at. Because what's going to happen is if you put yourself in the mindset <clears throat> of an active shooter, he's trying to do as much damage as possible. He's going to immediately scan and assess and see you because you stand out just as much as he does because you're carrying a firearm. He's going to address you as a threat first. He's going to kill you first. And take your weapon. That shiny 1911. That shiny 1911. You and know. that's why we're a big proponent of concealed carry. Because you want to be able to walk in anywhere you go. Any type of clothing you wear. It's a great thing about a holster, by the way. You walk into Walmart with some board shorts and nobody will never know your arm. And if something does happen, God forbid, active shooter, you can do what you got to do. Hmm. Because he ain't going to know that you got a gun or you're in a convenience store behind someone that's robbing a store he don't know you got a gun until you pull pull it out and said hey bud you might not want to do what you're about to do mm -hmm. that's the great thing about concealed carry you're you're blending into your surroundings you're the that's gray right. man you, you're blending in that's the great thing about concealed carry you definitely want to blend into the background you always don't, you don't want to stand out you don't want to stand out it, uh, in all honesty when i was active I would actually conceal carry more. If you broke it down, I would conceal carry more than I would open carry on duty. Yeah. Because I would wear a holster between 12 and 15 hours of, of my work day. But if I went anywhere after work was over, I would be in regular civilian clothes. I'd have no insignia even identifying me as a law enforcement officer. And I would carry deep concealment. So I carried concealed on a lot of the days I worked and I carried concealed on all of the days I didn't and it is significantly more preferable to me the only reason I had a gun out here is because I had a badge out here for everybody to see anyway and I think the one <clears throat> thing is too is even when you're open carrying a lot of people ain't paying attention they're on their cell phones they're checking Facebook they're checking Instagram mm -hmm. taking pictures talking to somebody on the phone mm -hmm. so they're not they're not what's the word i'm looking for so they're not paying attention to their their situational awareness there is, it is. is that's the word i was trying to look is. for and, and that's the thing so i i'm not trying to throw any shade i love a, a ton of the gun tubers I, I don't necessarily have anything shade. i'm actually appendix carrying right now um you know you see a lot of the guys that are the gun tubers that everybody gravitates towards because they're trying, you know, you're talking about concealed carrying and you have new shooters worrying about their split times um, or they're worried about beating a pack timer. When in reality, the guy that you're watching that does all this 
Gucci shooting and the and the John Woo rolls, and he's got the tactical fupa with the 18 extra mags and the red dot and the flashlight. Not knocking that. That does have a place in time. Don't you have that set up? <sighs> He, I, has, that, he I, has that set up. I do have that set up. <laughs> like I said, I'm not knocking that. What I'm knocking is that this is the only thing people focus on, when in reality that same guy would probably be standing at a at an ATM at 9 o'clock at night looking at his cell phone and are completely oblivious to what's going on around him. There's other things to consider when it comes to real-world self-defense outside of just being fast, just being able to put rounds on target with your Super Gucci Kydex and your, your pack timer and your red dots. Um, I would rather look like I'm not carrying at all, maybe be in clothing where most people don't think you can carry because what goes along with that is you have people that open carry and then you have people that kind of conceal but their tactical is concealed so they're wearing their 5'11 pants, their 5'11 uh, shoes, Vertex hat. As soon as they walk in, a, a trained person will know that that person is armed as well. I feel like you're talking about me. Are you talking about me? Talking about you a little bit. He's not talking about me. I'm not talking about you. Because in the summertime, <clears throat> I look like a bum. A, so. Yeah, exactly, you know. I mean, I'm in some board shorts and with a gun in my hip, you know. Exactly. Uh, wearing board shorts, tank tops, and flip-flops, and rocking a firearm and nobody would ever know. Uh, you know, it, it's it's your approach to your safety that matters. Yep. And like you I said, know. that's why we prefer concealed carry than open carry. That's our yeah. opinion. You can take it or leave it. It's the great thing about America. We all have opinions. <clears throat> totally our opinion. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like we are the smartest guys that have ever been or we've had the most experience out of anybody else in the world. But, uh, you know, if... If we can share our opinions and it helps you form your opinion on what you need to do for self-protection, you know, that's that's what we're here for. You know, we're all here to learn. We're all here to learn. You know, any day that you're not learning, you know, as as your situation changes, so should your tactics towards it. Mm -hmm. So if I'm learning something in this space that I find intriguing and that it's swaying my idea towards another opinion, I'll be the first to say it. You know, you, you, need to be, you need to be able to grow and be flexible in order to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Properly, and, at least. Yes, properly. And we know a lot of people out there, they don't like guns. They don't carry guns. Carry something that you can protect yourself with. Yeah. Carry something that you can protect yourself with, no matter what it is. Knife, mm -hmm. a big bazooka, <clears throat> something that you got that nobody knows you have. That's a great thing about concealing anything. Um, don't care. Not, don't not care. To, bazooka. Yeah, ATF don't do may have that. an issue yeah. with that. ATF. Oh yeah. ATF, ATF don't come after. ATF ain't a fan. I have no bazookas. Yeah. So, um, but that's our opinion. We love concealed carry. We a big advocate for it. We just are. Yeah. Uh, open carry. It has its time and place. To me, that time and place is not going to be in public when you're walking around Walmart buying your grocery store and you just kind of la la. That's a good way to get it snatched. Uh, we see it all the time, especially yeah. we, where we live. Everybody's got a Every, gun. Everybody's, there's a lot of people with cheesy uncle. They'll have a, 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 a $1,200. Uncle, leave my Uncle Mike out of this. I, I didn't say, I, I said cheesy uncle, and that's all I said. I will call it a UM, all right? It's a, it's a, <laughs> they got a cheesy UM holster, and uh, they got a $1,200 gun and a cheesy UM holster, and they're leaning across their cart like this, completely oblivious to everything that's going on around. Yep. And um, even being in, law, being in law enforcement for a long time, Eddie as well, we see the bad in society. Yeah. So everybody always asks, why are you always looking around? You don't, you don't look comfortable. Well, you look paranoid. I'm none of those. I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm not paranoid. I know what's out there uh, because bad stuff can happen at a, at a split second, you know, yeah. at, a, at a moment's notice. Yeah. I'm aware. I'm vigilant. My situation awareness, the word I was looking for, is good. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I'm always scanning. Because yeah. you have to. And do I get complacent sometimes? Absolutely. I'm human. Yeah. I am a, I'm human. I look on my phone sometimes and then I, I catch myself and say, hey, stop. I need to pay attention. So, so we, had, we had a young lady say that she didn't like to carry because of it made her feel nervous about the situation. And we'll have to talk about that in the next video. We'll talk about mindset 
and situational awareness, and how important it is. Because it's not the kind of thing that rules your life. It doesn't make you some kind of way. I used to tell people, it's like when you first start driving a car. You know, you're, always you're, 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 parano mm -hmm. you're paranoid and you're nervous. But as you get used to driving a car, you do all the function of driving a car without even thinking about Especially it. Especially the people from New York. That's right. They don't know how to drive. That's you. That's you, fool. That's hurtful, man. That's nah, all right. I got family yeah. in New York. It's all good. <laughs> Look, I want, we want to thank everybody who's watching this video. Please like, subscribe to our YouTube and Rumble page. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Instagram. We're trying to get them, trying to get the gram up. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the gram up. Uh, comment below. If you think we're wrong, tell us. Trust me, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going like to hurt said, his feelings. Is so. this, is this is all about learning. You might say something to us where I'm like, hmm, I didn't think of it yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. And it might sway my position a little yeah. bit, you know. Um, like I said, it, you know, it's just our experience. It's what has helped us through. Uh, if it can help you, that's why we that's want to share here. That's why we want to try to do these things, try to do more videos. So exactly. like, subscribe, comment. That's all we got today, guys. We do, do appreciate it. Hope everybody have a blessed day. God bless.